Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Vanessa Montero. Happy New Year, happy 2022. Do me a favor guys, push all that old energy, keep it in 2021. Let's bring in this new energy for 2022. Fresh starts, all that, okay? <laughs> and please like the video. Please. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, we're gonna get, do a Celtic cross and let's just see like what's going on. Uh, we're gonna get some fortunes with the tea leaves first. We're gonna do this Celtic cross with this uh, Grand Lux Marchetti tarot. And we're gonna get your advice with the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. All right, Sagis, let we go. Let's do it. All right, so what do y'all have coming in? What's going on? All right, let's pull all these out and then I'll read them. Okay, so that's the tea. This is the tea. This is your fortune. All readings are timeless. Whenever you hear it is when you're meant to hear it. All right, that's a lot. Y'all got a lot. So, oh, you got a month card. Oh, you got a month of the year over here. Okay, let's see. What's under the deck? Under the deck is the apple. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what you got in this lovely Capricorn season. Temptation will test you. With the apple. But it's just a test. It's just a test. Alright. Scissors. Disappointment in some affair. Cut it out. Because it's the scissors. Cut it out. Cut away. If you want to listen to this again, I'm not going to keep like revisiting them. Just, you know, rewind. Okay? <laughs> um, tiger. Something risky. Taking a chance. Okay. Take a chance. Disappointment in some affair though. Okay? You got July here. The month of July could be significant for y'all. You got wishbone. A wish is granted in July. Came out with July. You got a lot of cards here. Let's see. You got ant. Work and achievement and success. Ant. Keep working at whatever you're working at. It will be successful. You have dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. That's going to be significant for some of y'all. Um, torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. I like this is a twin flame energy to me, okay? Um, and then you have bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Get that bread, okay? You're gonna be eating good. That's good. That's good. Okay, okay, Saggy. Okay, Saggy. All right, so let's do a Celtic cross. So, what the Celtic cross is, we look at the past, we look at the current energy, then we, you know, I'll talk you through it. All right, so now let's see what's the past. What in the past energy for Sagittarius? All right, one came out. Let's see, seven of coins. All right, so you failed at something, but that's okay because now you know. This is also movement, so albeit slow progress, progress is assured. Simply because you're reflecting on the past and you're seeing what didn't work, what did work, and now things are starting to grow. You know how to grow your abundance now. Okay, you did get that bread growing keep working with the ant your money is going to grow so you had y'all reached a plateau with your career and you're now trying to take it things maybe to the next level um it's taking some more um investment okay this is all about investments Ooh, look at that went from six to seven of coins yeah you're, you, you reached a plateau everything's balanced out and now you're like okay I got a little extra so my investment came through and I got to put some more down and wait some more so that I can grow that's great maybe you invested in a relationship and it's now starting to grow all right where do we stand justice yeah things are balancing out this is good could be a Libra of significance doesn't have to be but Venus this is Venus energy all these are Venus cards so that could be that Venus and Capricorn energy in your second house. Things are saving. So it's like you're saving that money and this is the energy of banks, investments. We'll pull through. Keep saving your money. Keep growing. Okay? That's that. Wow. All right, Sagittarius. So things are balancing out. Some of you could be entering a contract or in a marriage contract. Or you could just feel like your relationship is settled. Settled in where you are in life. If you're not in a relationship, you're settling. You're looking at the past. You're moving away from that. And you're settled where you're going. Why is this happening to Sagittarius? Why is this happening? Two cards came out. The Four of Coin and the Knight of Cups. So you've been going out and holding back from maybe doing excess of drinking and boozing and 
being around a lot of people, you've been getting financially stable, you're wanting to offer your love to someone who could, some of you, could have had a love offer come in, a profession of love from somebody finally opened up about how they felt, how they feel. You could be feeling balanced. Nine of coin. Yeah, you'd be feeling like, okay, you, you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend now, a significant other that is stable. It makes you feel secure. Some of you are just single, okay? And everything is just, you're happy single. It's cool. You have the justice here because you're finally getting offers. You're holding back from people that are wishy-washy that come in out of your life. Just speak things, but don't do, but don't have the actions to back it up. And you're feeling more abundant that way. And some of you are just stabling your relationship. And you feel like this person is finally opening up to you. But there's a love offer here. So a love offer could have came in. Mm -hmm. You have a crush on somebody. You've been patient for this, Sagittarius. That's you on your mind. On your mind is that you're ready to open up to someone who you've been holding back from. Or you feel like somebody finally who was holding back opened up to you. And you guys are finally saying everything that you wanted to say that was on your chest. It's pure. It's innocent. It's making you feel loved and in love. You could be in love. You could have a crush on someone. Um... There's also the energy here of somebody who was holding back from you or you were holding back from them and you finally started talking and it's everything you ever wanted. Because it's just so pure and innocent and good and you've been waiting for so long. You could still be waiting having a crush. It took a long time though. Whatever it is. What's the challenge here for Sagittarius? What's the challenge? You're always getting two cards. The, the challenge is that to speak the truth about wanting stability here. The challenge is that somebody wants things to move a little fast and you're still wondering if, you know, that's what you really want. That's going to be your challenge. This didn't happen to you yet. It's about to happen. Because this is fast movement here. So something has been accelerated. There's acceleration here into some type of um, stability. Okay. Queen of Coins is the challenge. Queen of Coins is Capricorn energy. It's like, I want stability. I want growth. I want to sit and focus and work on this. I want this to be a part of my life, my everyday life, so I don't have to worry about which way this is going. Decisions will be made. The challenge is to make a decision to move fast into a relationship with this person that you've been flirting with, maybe, and talking to. Things are starting to balance out. Just moving into a steady relationship with somebody you've been talking to. You feel like it's going fast, but it's but it's okay because this person is very stable and settled in how they feel about you and receiving that communication that you that things are going to be um solid okay making a decision now are you drawn to this do you want to take on this new pathway how is Sagittarius showing up in this you're showing up as eight of cups reverse and ace of cups so you could feel it you could feel like <sighs> A rich, this is like a return to a uh, self-love. You could be feeling like, oh, look at this. This opportunities, opportunities, opportunities. Two aces here. So you could be feeling like you're showing up as ready, open, willing to receive, and emotionally available and excited. Okay? Wow, that's good. Ready for love. All right, so I'm seeing the story shape up now. So how does... What's the energy is coming in that Sagittarius doesn't see? The supportive energy in Sagittarius' environment. Death reverse. Resurrection. Scor could be a Scorpio significance. Page of Swords. All right, I get this now, okay? Let me tell you how this is going. What, um... Death reverse is about somebody coming back from the dead, all right? What is something that was dead wants to be fixed? Or, or it could be also not letting go of the past. What is the emotional energy Sagittarius will experience? Too many cards. What's the emotional energy? Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands. Something unexpectedly having to make a decision. Feeling like it's just destiny though. And you're so drawn to it. Reconciliation here. And what's the outcome? King of Coin. Alright, I see what's going on here. So, in the past you were waiting for somebody to come around. Okay, you were waiting, you felt like it failed, and you were okay with whichever way going, and you're just moving on because you ain't got time. You're doing this because um, you feel like, these are the cards that were here. This is all happening because somebody, you could have offered your love to someone and they could have held back from you. Okay, and you're just feeling like, well, I tried my best, I'm not going to sit up there and keep going with this. I did what I had to do, and I'm waiting for, I'll just sit here and wait for somebody to come along that really loves me, okay? Um, and then meanwhile, the challenge is here comes this communication that, that you've been longing for, and you're feeling, well, I, is this stable? Is this going to be good? Because now I'm ready to go. 
And this person's like, no, I'm I'm back. I want this. I want. I love you. You're the one I love. I want to be with you. This could be also be new love. And then you're feeling like, um, okay, fine. Now this is what I, I I can let go, or I was unwilling, where I was unwilling to let go before. I will let go, and I will move into a, a different. I will as long as we're transform transforming into a better place. I will go with it. And now you're seeing, you know, unexpectedly making a decision to go towards a new direction that you're more drawn to brings you a solid partner. King, queen of coin. Okay? So now you have this, this energy of investment. Somebody willing to invest in you. Somebody willing to um, be in a long-term committed relationship with you. Also could be marriage. Because these are two usually married. And here's a marriage contract. Okay, so it could lead to that. Comes in fast. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you're waiting for this communication or you're just not even waiting. I mean, like, I hate saying waiting, but it's like you just, you're taking time out for yourself and really focusing on yourself brought you this new love. Some of you, it's a brand new person and some of you, it's somebody coming back because you have this reconciliation energy here too. So get out of your own head about this. Don't worry about it. You're you have anxiety because you're you're talking to somebody. Maybe you're not you're thinking it's not going to go anywhere, and then all of a sudden they want to. This new person comes in, or the same person wants to take things to the next level, and you decide, hey, let's go for it. Okay. <sighs> Temptation will test you. So maybe that's the old person coming in while you're talking to a new person. So I'm getting a few storylines. I'm gonna run it back real quick because this is a little all over the place, but. I don't like confusing reads, so I'm going to be specific, okay? All right. So, some of you, like I said, it's an old person coming back from the past. They're serious now, and you decide, all right, are you ready to be serious? Yes, you're going to be with them, okay? The, some of you, you're deciding the past is a failure, and just as you do that, a new person comes in that you're talking to, and you decide to take this new direction unexpectedly, and you get into a relationship, okay? All right. Cool. And for some of you, it's both things happening at once. The old comes in and you're like, I don't want that new person comes in and you're like, I'll take that. <laughs> Either way, you end up happy as a clam and with someone. Could be an earth sign of significance here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You also have water here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have yourself, Sagittarius, Libra. Um, and that's what I see. I don't see much fire. Mm-mm. All right, let's hear advice, Sagittarius. What is your advice? What is your advice? It looks like there's a conversation that comes in, and it is just, it's just so nurturing. You feel like you're finally supported. You feel like everything is consistent. You feel like this is somebody you could really settle with. It, it's unexpected how it happens. You, you didn't see it coming. It could have been somebody you just had a crush on for a long time that you watched. Healing begins. Allow yourself to heal through this. Allow a healing conversation to come in. Somebody could be traveling towards you as well. You could live um, across the way, whatever that means. Four of Cups, opportunity beckons. Something you desired is coming in. What's the, what's the other advice? Four of Wands, joy and stability. Yes, yes, yes. A relationship could be a flame. Solar plexus is a huge blessing from the divine. As allow yourself to receive this, your abundance. What else? One more piece of advice for Sagittarius. And the hermit, seek wisdom, reflection, take your time. Could be a Virgo of significance. Seek the truth. Seven of Swords there, right? Trust. All right, so there's somebody that's trying to dece deceive you. See, take take your time with that one. They really want this opportunity, but then there's this other opportunity here that's the, for stability. Boom, it's a window. And healing begins as soon as you go through it because it's a blessing. Working together with someone there. Yeah, you have this new love. That's how you're showing up Someone's new as someone's new love. You have this person that you were talking to, though. Yeah, there's energy of childlike energy, childlike, innocent, playful um, expressions of love. Romance right there. Making love, and then things move fast. That's a nice reading. A little cryptic, but I like it. Thank you, Sagittarius. This video is sponsored by Keen. Everyone deserves a psychic reading. Psychic readings can provide the breakthrough that you never knew you needed. 
Keen advisors are available 24-7. There's always someone online. Keen provides access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors who give guidance and insight on life's challenges, clarity and love, relationships, career, and more. As a new Keen customer, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Just use the URL trykeen.com slash Vanessa Moon.